the Biden American Rescue Plan, money in the pockets of the American people, children in school safely, and workers back into their jobs, among other things. And the people of this country have suffered far too much for too long. We need to relieve that suffering. The American Rescue Plan does just that. That's what this is all about, and we're here today to tell them that help is on the way. Our message to the American people is very simple. Help is on the way. Yeah, well, my message to my 11-year-old is you are screwed when we have to pay for all this. The Democrats want to buy the votes of the poor right now. You know how they're doing it? By keeping them poor. But this bill gets worse. It's not just a return to welfare, but a return to out-of-control pork barrel spending. Yes, the Senate just stripped the bill that included a $140 million for a San Francisco tunnel being pushed by Nancy Pelosi. But there's plenty of more waste in there to go around. There's at least $50 million, probably more when you add it all up, going to Planned Parenthood, an organization that raises millions of dollars from Hollywood, right? Why does it need our taxpayer money? It doesn't. $570 million goes to federal employees for paid leave. $1,400 a week they get if they have to care for their kids at home. What about all of us who care for our kids at home? The message is, work for the government, we will take care of you. Sound familiar, right? And how about the teachers' unions, the ones fighting to keep schools closed? Well, they'll get access up to $10 million per union. And these are the very people fighting to keep our kids out of school. There is not much in this bill that makes any sense, to me at least. Only about 9% of it goes to virus-related health care. But that's what you get when Democrats have a stranglehold on Washington, D.C. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. Shalom, Yashrata. Shalom. Kalalayum. Alahayinawa. Yahawa. Bashem. Yahawa Shai. Bashem. Raka Kadash. The Blonders, the Apostles, and Elders, the Great Millstone, who teach you on the Ruwa. Peace. A salutation to the Akim, the federal laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwith listening, listening and learning, Shalom. It's your brother Shema, from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto, for another lesson. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem Shai, the title will come. But we'll get right into it. Uh, that little news clip we watched there off of Newsmax, right? And uh, a precept came to mind, and uh, yeah, America the Great, Babylon the Great is through, man. You know what I mean? Um, it's compounding. It's waxing worse, right? Babylon the Great's in straits, man. But uh, Isaiah. Thirty-one, verse three, and a, re a matter of fact, let's read it from the top. Verse one, and then verse three. Isaiah thirty-one, verse one, and it reads, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help!" Right, spiritual Egypt, America the Great, Babylon the Great. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help! Right. Looking for handouts, the pop the populace that's looking for handouts, man. Right? The population of America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? Destruction of them. And stay on horses and trust in chariots. Because there are many, right? Trusting in the system, trusting in Babylon the Great. And in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? Two thirds of our people not seeking the Most High. They don't look to the Holy One of Israel. Right? They pray to idols. Right? The wicked, the other nations, praying to idols. Right? Verse 3. And ultimate destruction for them. It's him. Verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not, uh, and not power. Right? The Egyptians are men and not the Most High. They're not the Heavenly Father. 
right? America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? It's just flesh, man. And their horses, their horses, flesh and not spirit. Here's the point: when Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, right? When the Most High, when the Most High goes to destroy this place, right? Through his son Yahweh Shai, right? When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great, with their fiat currency, right? With their traps and their snares, right? To get you to bend and fold, right? T to take that thing, right? Because they're going to use the carrot on the stick, which is this, the stimulus packages, right? Both he that both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, right? And those getting the, the these stimuluses, these rescue, these bailouts, they're gonna fall. To, they're gonna be destroyed too, along 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 with the system, man, along with Babylon the Great. And they shall all fail together, right? This place is through, man. America the Great, Babylon the Great. It's done. It's finished. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that quick precept. Edify the sheep, feed the lambs, the simmy. Say a prayer, pray without ceasing. Kwame Asharala, wa abad babal.